Okay, and then we make this go away. And then we are good to go. You may resume game. Yes. Welcome sir. back to Baby Simulator, as I adjust the mic. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Yeah, so does the mom. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? Oh, they do talk about the father here. He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I, what happened to him. I completely forgot about this, honestly. I realize now, like, when it came to the first question, when she was like, oh, he disappeared, I was like, oh, okay, so he was having a hard time dealing. Now I realize it's because the dads are the one like being put to the test, not the moms. Yeah. I forgot about that, because, like, with the first one, it's like, oh, well, he's, like, a deadbeat that, like, beat her all the time, so you don't think anything about him running away. Yeah. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. Oh! He left the house and that's the box he got from the other guy. No. Uh -huh. There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I guess it was a cell phone, though. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Scott shall be this much closer to figuring out the killer. What's with her like awkward head movement? She did just like lose a shitload of blood. That's fair. But it was just really awkward. I didn't she looked like she wanna ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Yeah, man, I thought it was just like Well look after yourself. She's not even worth and saying, hey mom, take care of my kid will. for a little bit. So, like, did no one who ever got the box ever take it to the police? Obviously not. Okay. So, it, it is still a little hard to believe no one would ever take it to the police. But, A, I believe there's only been six kids total. Between six and eight. Yeah, and they just didn't see it as important because yeah. they don't have to do with after. Well, they, yeah, it, well, it's also, like, if I turn it in, my kid's definitely dead. So, like, I understand the the confusion, like, it's a little hard to believe that no one would do it, but I don't think it's the hardest thing to believe. Yeah. Also, like fingerprints it. on the origami. It could just have gloves. Shelby's definitely my favorite character. Yeah. He's I just out here trying to do the right thing, trying to get to the bottom of the case. I did, like, I do still really like, uh, Norman, whatever... Naaman. What do you mean they already died? Why keep the box? Okay, so Kimmy was wrong in what she said, but keep in mind the store shop owner did still keep his box even after his, like, because he, he never went and did any of it, but he kept the box. Yeah. Gloves leave prints? Oh, yeah, let me just trace the glove back to the rando, dude. Yet yeah, this lady will be fine. I'll just leave her be. Fingers crossed. Everything's definitely gonna be okay in that household. Well, time to play as our old friend. Is Ethan. Is Ethan. Is Ethan. Time to play. Ethan Bradbury. Time to play as the killer. Just kidding. <laughs> we realize he's not the killer anymore. Time to load up Pokemon Go. Oh, look at that sweet fucking jacket. Scott Shelby is a great Santa guy. <coughs> got some, got some little, little hole punch things here. Is this the one? City Garage General Hire Service? What? <coughs> Nineteen thirty eight, that's oddly specific, is it though? Kimmy, how do you think the killer chooses his victims? I think he 
I don't know. I think he just finds a dad that he thinks isn't doing what he should. Understandable. And then it's just like, I'd rather put the kid out of his misery. So, like, the dude's really intelligent, but he might have dealt with some trauma from an abusive father in the past. And, like, he maybe hey. thought it would have been better if he would have just oh. been taken out. Huh. I'm sorry. Didn't see you. <coughs> uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. No, we've had that one for 20 years. Do I need to shoot this dude? <laughs> do I need to shoot this dude? Like, did I give him hey, the card you're and he's... you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two oh, years. Oh, okay. I thought he was about to come out and be like, you're the guy, shoot. Two years, what a coincidence. Two years, wow. It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the park. Oh, about as long as uh, certain someone's been gone. Wait, he said I've got to go where? We got to go back to the garage. <laughs> wow, Trey, you never said Kimmy was a profiler. Aren't you literally in college for, like, psychology? Uh, not psychology. I'm a human service major, but that's, Dude, that's a lot close of enough how, to me. Yeah, it's a lot of psychology classes. It's basically reading people and knowing how to handle people whenever they are out of themselves. So, like, schizophrenics, uh, elderly with So this game was literally children. made for you. Yeah. <laughs> It's basically just like I know how to handle either people. Like it's just it's a lot of psychology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trey, the bird's been dead for two years. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> that lady we played as is totally dead. You know, I'm thinking about it, and like, what am I looking at? Oh, it's over there. How's that going, Kimmy? I was thinking of going into sociology and psychology. I actually love it. Um, sometimes it can get a little frustrating because I... Some people don't like to hear about psychology because it doesn't... They don't like to be categorized. But it really does help you have a deeper understanding for humans and for people and like how they work. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't think there'd be an... I don't think I'd ever change my major. Make sure to put your seatbelt on. Da -da -da. What's in the glove box, man? Oh, dude, jelly donut. Did it not even open? I guess not. Come on. Seatbelt, seatbelt, seatbelt. All right, little reckless hooligan. Oh, I'm some. fine with being categorized. No thirsty boys in the chat, please. <laughs> but I am also okay with being categorized. Yeah, I mean, categories just give you like a better understanding for. It's a way to communicate. <laughs> it truly does, and we can clearly see that David Cage knows none of this. <laughs> no, absolutely. I think he gets sure. lucky with the psychology. He's I been also using. agree with you. I think you're good enough at psychology that you can falsely attribute bits of psychology to David Cage. It's like when I accident when I like described the original Pet Cemetery to someone the way I remembered it, and then I saw the original Pet Cemetery, and what I made up in my mind was a thousand times better than the actual. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop distracting you for this scene because this is challenge number and one. And then, hey, suggestive memory, you convinced Thorn who'd already seen that movie yeah. that it was true. That's suggestive psychology. So right how do there. we categorize David Cage? Hack, pervert. <laughs> yeah, definitely at least a pervert. Uh, thinks he's better than he is, but I forget what the word for that is. Uh, egotistical, egotistical, pompous, uh, narcissist. Narcissist is up there, pompous. <laughs> Egomaniac. <laughs> Anomaly. That's a good one. Well, right, Anomaly just means that it's out of normal. I'm gonna not distract you for this. Because this is challenge number one. Take the God. Sean. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. 
It's my only lead. No turning back now. Oh god. Yeah. Alright. Make or break Tim. Explain why he can handle the crowd go. here. David Cage is a hack. I have no choice. Okay. Uh, okay. This is gonna be fun. Let's do it. I apologize if you can hear people yelling in the other room. We're gonna try and not focus on that right now. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna do color commentary on Kimmy's driving skills. She's a far better driver than me. I respect her attempt here. That's a good I was, one. I didn't know that, that was yeah, gonna happen. That's a tricky. That's a tricky. Uh, I've never used quick that time control event. before. Correct. Yeah. But you know what? She had the reflexes to take care of it. Kimmy, she's on her Shit. toes right now. She's preparing for the best. A few light grazes, but she's still on the right track. Able to correct herself, gotta wiggle it back and forth, and she makes it just in time. Now the game, trying to distract her, trying to get her to read some subtitles. There's a dude on the road, you gotta be careful. Kimmy's gonna keep that man alive. Kimmy not thinking, clearly decides to run instead of going to a different area, but able to avoid the pedestrians. But can she avoid all of them? Oh God. She's on the right track. She has made it through all the pedestrians. Minimal damage to the architecture. Oh! Ah! But almost gets smacked. The game gives her a leeway point there. One missed up quick time event is not going to end her life. Why are these people trying to build a roadblock of single cars? Speed limit 30, but she does not have the time. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I, I think she just went straight without thinking and gets lucky she dominoed that one. Oh, but the blaze are after me now. The 5 0. -oh, the fuzz. They are on the trail. We have one mile to reach and we have to hope beep. that the cops don't stop us. Beep, oh, beep. shoot. <laughs> Dude, these cops are breaking the speed limit. What am I doing? What am I doing? Wiggling. Is it, moving. Does it matter? Yeah. yeah, it was a choice. Oh, shit. It was a ram, basically. Hey, he's oh. that man's got some Donkey Kong barrels in the back of his car. Oh, <laughs> it's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> did you see how it just flew in the air? Physics did not exist for that wheelbarrow. Either that, or we are in the middle of a hurricane. Kimmy needs to get a little better at figuring out when to twist and when to hit the right analog stick. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh, no. Destination reach, please press the screen. The seat belt is on. Hold L1. That's up. Everything That's you're, up? Yeah, everything oh. you're looking at is upside down because it's from his perspective. Beep room, dude. That wheelbarrow. We're in David Cage's world now. Come on, we gotta get everything done. Come on. What is that? Oh, oh, oh shoot. It's up because everything's upside down. Oh god, come on. I'm holding it. Come on. Let's try try oh, holding it again. Yeah. My bad, right? Archie, right? Yep. And then up. Oh. Gotta get out, gotta the get out. Fire going. is encroaching. There it is. The chip needed for the hangman. Let's get going. He's obtained it. Will he make it out in time? Oh god. I feel like gravity should have dropped him on his head. That's a hold. Uh where? You let go uh, the buttons. I can feel the intensity with the music. <laughs> Come on, like, we gotta get going, dude, dude, go, 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 go. That reward better be a fiver. Intense, he's gotta get out of the window. Don't slap the door. Get your ship. Did you grab your ship? Yeah, he's got it gripped in his hand, and he runs. With plenty of time to spare, Kimmy makes it through the first challenge with only major injuries. 
Could I have not crashed? Was that I mean, an option? Maybe? I don't know. Like, I just, I wish I knew if I did, like, that badly. That I don't I recall or... enough about this game since the last time I went through it was a year ago. I'm so glad I made it, though. The sun's still alive, everyone. Cage doesn't, oh, the lag's been oh, hit. The no. cage doesn't want Kimmy to make it. I'll pause for you, guys. Uh, yeah, it was just like a, it was just a fat dump of lag again. It's just something that happens. I guess sometimes there's just some bit too much going on screen. Well, just so y'all know, I did awesome. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay. We're, we're All right, so up. just so you know, apparently you do always crash the car, but you could have corrected yourself midair to land upright to make it easier. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Either way, I did pretty good, especially because yeah. I was upside down. Like, that was such a struggle. And then the car explodes, so you had, like, plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. Theoretically, or it was, it was <laughs> uh, what, what's the line? Was it you were played from the start or something? I don't remember. I did pretty good, though. Got good out. job, good job. Decent time. I definitely felt those fires start burning, and I was like, oh, gotta go, gotta go. One out of five completed. Still. I'm getting my toe to stop being clear. Nope. Is it like a, a sleep or something? Try not to kick the chair the mic is on, please. Yeah. Just trying to rest my leg on it. All right, this lady's back. Uh, this this game was rigged right, from I'm the start. I'm gonna go this way instead. That's that. fine. I can like scoot over. Dunks, you can knock him up here. No, I just need to. Dude, 2.006 inches. We're getting. We are a third of the way to Inch City. Oh good. Here we be. It's just me on my motorcycle living my life. Living my I've got best places life. to be and stuff to do. And people not to run into. Dunks, why are you like this? You ready to play another dream sequence? Oh gosh. <laughs> Can we get a coffee? Yeah. Nope, okay. You, she only drinks coffee if it's been microwaved. It's disgusting. Bing. Whoa, which Travis touched now? You look kind of like a creep, my sir. Yep, yeah, definitely feel like a creep. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but he definitely sounds like a creeper, too. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Feeling the register. He's definitely like creepy, man. He's like one of the, he. He sounds like he's one of those people that has to like an artificial voice box held up to their throat, but he doesn't have one of them. Anything for you, sweetheart. Feeling the register. Look at all these awkward like ch mouth chewing. Mason Page. Twenty seven. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Miss Page? A fortnight. Know. Round 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's the killer, maybe not origami, but definitely a killer. Definitely a killer. Do I go straight to my room, or can I just like... You can do whatever you want. There just may not be an option to do anything. Yeah, let's go see. I'm he gonna... looks like Mike if he let himself go. <laughs> Alright. It won't let me go inside, though. I want to get some food at the cafe. I want to get I'm some warm-up coffee. starving. I want my microwaved coffee. Why right. wouldn't it let me go on the ledge? Dude, the go. best way to eat coffee is to pour it into a teacup, put it in the microwave, and hit the popcorn button. <laughs> Trust me. Delicacy. Um, you said last floor, right? I don't know. Last floor. <laughs> I guess dying until dawn really got to him. Yeah, I get that. I mean, look, Josh became a Wendigo until dawn, and now look at him. He's a hacker man. Alright, I think it's this one, because I know the other ones are working. I it just realized every scene with Madison is sexist. You just realized that? Did we get a partner? 
What? Is that what's going on? She helps him, he helps her. Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. I wish you could control what both of them did here. Me too. Please, just... I, I, I'm sure it'd get very confusing, but nonetheless. It's number 207. But actually, this was all just an elaborate pickup line by Ethan. Dun dun dun. I'm just gonna pretend I got hit by a car to save my dying son, and this chick will take me to my room. And then she'll feel bad for me. That's five... Seven. Have you got the key? Oh no, I don't. Could I stay in your room for tonight? It's <laughs> <laughs> a very elaborate pickup line. <laughs> sir, who are, sir, who are you? Who is famous and me, a reporter covering the origami case? I mean, spoilers, because that's definitely relevant. Actually, we haven't even established that yet. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. Well, as we all know, a broken it's rib is favorite. pretty much meaningless. Oh, but it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. Yo, you got any of that Shaq sponsored icy hot? Because I could really go for some of that right now. Let's go see if I can find some medicine. Let's see if this hotel has any Xanax. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! Which ones are they? <laughs> I mean, hey, Ethan is better than the motel guy up front. Listen, having standards doesn't mean you have to settle for the dude who looks cuts. like he got hit by a car. You can just pop some Xanax on your own. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. We'll give him this for now. Duly noted. But will you obey those words? Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? Xanax. It's a painkiller. It's Ambien. I've it tricked you. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Well, it says on my box to shut the fuck up and get me wait. some more. Let's get you some disinfectant this time. You're good now. Time to play some amateur surgeon. I should disinfect his cuts. Is the menu f on the toilet? I'm just saying, I think it's weird that you can't grab multiple at one time. I'm gonna disinfect And where'd she get the wound. little this cotton ball from? Uh, bra. Sorry. Are you okay? It's like she's shaving his eyebrow. Very tense. But Kimmy did it. All clean. All cleaned so up. Nothing wrong infected. there. Thanks. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. Right. I'm gonna take a shower. Stick around if you want. Ha ha! Just kidding. Unless. Da -da -da. Oh no, my leg is so hurt. I'm gonna need help taking a shower. I wonder what would have happened if I would have walked away and never come to help him. Need anything. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he dies, who cares? This ain't about Ethan right now. Alright, pervert! She's like, look, he might have gotten hit by a car, but he looking pretty thick. I think we need to walk Talk away, to miss. <laughs> that way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? <laughs> I mean, we have seen both take a shower. You're not wrong. Madison. Well, I mean, I guess to be fair, we've seen one of them take a shower, and we've seen one of them have a dream about no, taking a shower. I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Ironic, since the oh, we were introduced to her in a dream in her house. I'm, I'm just passing through. And 
What else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Chop up their bodies and eat them. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Oh, better not him catch me looking at his little origami figures. Pretty weird this dude has origami figures. Honestly, it's not what I was looking for. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better. Yeah, what if it would have let you steal them as her? Would you have done it? No, probably not. <laughs> okay. You can use. I would have confronted him. I would have been like, what are these? You can play as one character to steal shit from another character you're playing as just for a different experience. Every move counts, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm playing 40 chess against you myself. Tell me your name. Dude, that's a pretty interesting idea for a game. Like a dang and alright, so like think of it this way. Think like dang and rumpa, there's like sixteen characters, right? Right. But you get to play as all of them heavy rain style, but you're told up front only one of them can make it out alive. So you have to manipulate them all in like a forty chess against yourself to get your one character out of there. God, that sounds awful. Did we just switch props in <laughs> yes, a second? You are, yeah, you were Ethan now. But it didn't even show us the screen. Yeah, that's what we call a smooth transition. Pretty stacked for a motel. Honestly? You can afford an iron and a fan in the drawer, but not a TV that isn't from the 1970s. Them druggies wander in the bridge again. What's the point of looking out this window? Oh, I don't know, aesthetic. Look at people watching. What's the point of ever looking out a window? See what's happening. I just wish that some of these actions, if they didn't have a purpose, don't need to be there, you know? Like all these chairs. Yeah, I bet you hate the Freddy Fish games, like, what too. What am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to, like, look supposed to get your origami figures out and figure out the next challenge. It's literally just me sitting there wasting time. Yeah, well, you know what? You have the option to do that. It's your life. You choose how to live it. It's actually Ethan's life, but you still choose how to live it. <laughs> he is paranoid. That's a good point. Got the new... This is my puppet, guys. Your puppet? Yeah, he's my puppet. Oh, okay. Uh, he does what I tell him. I thought you were saying you were getting something that would be Ethan's puppet. No, Ethan is your puppet. Alright. I wish you got to choose them, but I understand why you can't. Like, what order you do them in. Mm -hmm. Yo, is this one made of a $5 bill? Hell yeah. It's made out of the 20s. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? I didn't read the rest of <laughs> I it. I didn't either. Let the game begin. Yeah, that's all I really got to read. Dude, 60 bucks? Pretty fucking sweet. I can't believe the origami killer gave me a fiver. Unless... 